What's going on, everybody? Today's video, a little bit of Twitter action. I'm not too sure many people knew this, but there's a lawsuit between Alt and Beckett Collectibles, and it focuses on an alleged altered yet graded Steph Curry rookie card, the Gold Refractor. So, Paul Esco, very knowledgeable on a lot of this stuff. He posts a lot of the court stuff on Twitter. If you guys don't follow him, I'd suggest to follow him. He gives you a lot of up-to-date stuff. He can break down a lot of the mumbo-jumbo, what I call it, on there. So, look at this. This is your little thing here. This is the card in question. Like I said, Gold Refractor Tops Chrome. Um, Steph Curry. Now, I'm going to break it down real quick here. I will put a link to this in the description if you guys want to read through all of it. Basically, somebody grades this card back. It gets a 9.5. You can see quad 9.5s, right? Alt purchases the card. Alt then says, you know what? We're going to go with PSA to grade this card. They crack it out of the case. PSA looks at it and says, whoa, dude, this thing's been trimmed, altered. Sends it back to Alt. Alt's like, you know, what the hell? Alt then says, well, we're going to send it back to Beckett and get in the Quad 9.5 uh, BGS thing and have a talk with them. Beckett then says, hey, whoa, yeah, the top and bottom, there's something off measurement-wise. It is altered. Their graders come out and say it. Alt's like, Hey, I bought this originally because this thing was not broke out. It was in your sealed, tamper-proof thing. You owe us a lot of money then because we spent all this money on this card. Which will be interesting because then you got to sit there and trace this card the whole way back to originally graded it. And that person may have bought it raw and not even known it. Or do we link it back to one of the exposed trimmers that we've seen on Sports Card Radio? He has a lot. They have, a, I should say they, they both have a lot of stuff on them trim guys on there. It'd be interesting to see if we could pinpoint it that far back or not. So as we go down here, I'll go through it. You can see, same thing. Alt purchased a card for $168,000. And they only did so because BGS graded the card. They figured, you know, it's tamper-proof. They know what they're doing. Blah, 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 blah. All the stuff. You keep going down. And this is one of the new... Or, um, I think it's one of the, no, it's one of the older holders because it's clear up here. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, unless they went back. I haven't graded with Beckett for a while. Yeah, because I think they had the other label up here where the little thing is. But you guys correct me if I'm wrong on to it. You can see all the legal mumbo jumbo stuff. Boom. When I'll purchase the card for 168000 October 2020. In August 2022, that card was allegedly worth $350,000, blah, blah, blah. They see they wanted to go with PSA because, you know, they're top-notch, according to the thing on to it, leading the sports uh, trading grader. Um, you can see how they returned it. And I guess I just broke this down. There's a bunch of bylines on it. The BGS confirmed it as well. On September 16, 2022, BGS confirmed PSA's evaluation of the current rookie card. Knowing the card was deemed altered by our graders. BGS further indicated the card measures short and the top edge is inconsistent with the others graded by BGS. Because of this, Alt wants the current value of the card from BGS as it would not have brought or would or as it would not have bought, not brought, bought the card, but for BGS's 9.5 grade. Alt therefore sued BGS for its negligent misrepresentation of the card. Really interesting when you start reading this stuff. Um, really curious. He says you can see it here. Uh, short complaint, but shows you when you have high dollar cards, people and companies rely on those grades, and then the card turns out to be altered. Lawsuits will happen. And that's one of the purposes when you look at this. He's curious, you know. A grader looks at, they are the representative of that company. They are the uh, expert, I guess you could say. It. I was going to use an army term there, and I had to lost and try to translate my head quick there, so I apologize. But you are the expert. Subject matter expert. SME on this. And yet, they got wrong. You know, you're, you should back your stuff 100%. And we've talked about this before where PSA has that guarantee on their page. The cover, it says, hey, we guarantee, we grade it, we are held responsible for saying this card's real, not trim, blah, 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 blah. I know SGC had something recently with it, and they covered it 
I don't know what'll happen here with Beckett, but craziness. Craziness. <laughs> this is funny where they're trying to find a car. But if you go through it, you guys will have a great read on this. I don't want to make it a, like a 15-minute read going through all this stuff. It's just, it's it's insane on to it. And he, they're talking about the defini uh, definition of a trading card and what they're coming up with. But it, it will definitely be something that's going to really probably change a lot of stuff out there. Because once a rolling comes into play onto this, it's going to be used later on. Um, but a lot of these companies already have accepted fall paid for it. I know the Juan Soto, the, uh, I don't want to say... Um, Oh, the Juan Soto 101. There we go. His uh, first Bowman. That old fun thing that went on with it, with erasing the end of the signature because it went off card. I know they purchased that back and we will never see that card again because it was altered. Now, I mean, honestly, they could just take it, slab it, and make it altered and it would still exist. But my, from my knowledge, they bought it, and it's never coming back in, back out to serve, uh, out to anybody to see, anybody to own, whatever it may be. I think that if they would uh, mark it as altered, and it's sealed, everybody knows the story now about it. It's not like somebody could resubmit that one on one somewhere, and they're going to grade it. And if you would grade it, and you graded it at like a ten, shame on you for that new grading company opening up and not knowing the history of this card. But guys, just uh, be aware of this stuff out there. Um, nobody's safe. Everybody takes these companies as their word. They are the experts in grading. They are leading the way, whether it's Beckett, PSA, SGC. You know, we're giving them our hard-earned money to give their opinion on the condition. But before they get there, they have to make sure that card is authentic. And that's where this is going to come into play. It'll be interesting, like I said, to see down the road to see where this comes up at. Again, if you guys don't follow Paul Lesko on Twitter, he has some great stuff come out there for content that he digs into with all these court cases against these card companies. It just makes you think, wow, this is really going on. We talk about, wonder if this will ever happen. He covers a lot of different stuff up there that I don't even talk about because it's just craziness um, from redemption stuff, to, oh gosh, players not signing cards, all these lawsuits. It's insane what's going on out there. Where there's big money at, there's going to be lawsuits. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Just want to see if you guys were aware of this. We'll see where it goes. Other than that, I'm out. And if I don't catch you guys before Christmas in the video, have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to you and your family out there. Um, hopefully I get to come on somewhere before New Year's and do a live stream. You guys could hang out with me. It'd probably be a very, very long live stream. I will need entertainment. All right, guys, I'm out. See ya.